Good evening, everyone. I'm Fred Graves, pastor at Desert Hills Community Church. I'd like to welcome everybody here tonight. In this time of uncertainty, I am so blessed and thankful that I still can be in community with family and friends. The family of God still united as one. And we just thank you for that, Jesus. Tonight, we'll be in session two of James. In fact, we'll be discussing uh, chapter 1, verses 13 to 18. Family, I just want you to know that uh, we are still here and we still care and love each and every one of you. Last time we got together, we had a few people that weren't feeling very well, and we would like to continue to lift them up as well as everyone else, but specifically Casey, John, Sheila, Frank, just to name a few. Melissa, just to name a few. So if we can continue to hold them up in prayer, that would be that would be wonderful uh, tonight. So let's uh, get started. Let's open up in a word of prayer. Dear Lord, we just praise your mighty name. We thank you for the opportunity to get together tonight in community to worship you, that you be glorified and that your nature be revealed to each and every person here. Lord, I pray that you draw each and of us closer to you. Lord, I pray for the health and safety and well-being of each and every person. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Okay, so tonight we're going to be opening up our Bibles to James. James chapter 1, verses 13 through 18. Now, this is the second session of a series that we're going through in James. I guess I'm the one elected to read, as typically we have somebody else read. So chapter 1 verses 13 to 18. When tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. But each one is tempted when, by his own evil desires, he is dragged away and enticed. Then, after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is full grown, gives birth to death. Don't be deceived, my dear brothers. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. He chose to give us birth through the word of truth, that we might be a kind of first fruit of all he created. Now that is exciting news right there. That is exciting that we are the first fruits of who God created. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to take a little time when, we, when you get an opportunity to read this to yourself and, and see what God reveals to you personally for each and every verse here. What's God trying to tell you? How is he revealing himself to you? And how can you apply this section in your life to further enhance your walk with God? Now, remember, there's a difference between trials and temptation. Okay, a lot of people think those are the same, but they're not the same thing. Trials are a season of testing. Now, remember last week we talked about testing and testing being refinement, the molding, the strengthening. Remember last week we talked about how the silversmiths would put fire under their silver and they would test it as the impurities would be separated from the pure silver. And they would know that it was pure because they would look in the silver and they would see the reflection. Now, remember, as we spoke last week, that's exciting news because when we're refined and we've passed the test, it, Jesus can look down and see his own image through us. And that is refined. That is testing. Now, temptation is a solicitation. It's usually a solicitation which is evil, and that's why Satan is called the tempter. So those are the two differences that sometimes we get confused. We want the trials. We want, we want the testing because that helps build us who we are. That's how God makes us Christ-like, and that's how we, our relationships are enhanced through him. Now, real quickly, let's go over these verses real quick. There's only five of them. But the things that stood out to me was... When tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me. See, that refers back. Remember the Lord's Prayer where it says, do not lead us into temptation. Well, he doesn't lead us into any temptation. He allows tests, but he doesn't tempt. 
Okay, and what Jesus is saying is, don't, look, don't think that the bad things that come from in your life come from God because they don't, because God doesn't do bad things. In fact, God turns bad things to good for those who believe in him. And that's Romans 8, 28. God can turn a bad situation, including the situation in which we live in today, and turn it for his good and his glory. And that, my friends, is exciting because that's hope. That's hope that God is faithful and he'll be with us through all of these trials, all of this tribulation. And through this, we are actually being refined, formed through faith to be Christ-like, to reflect the image of Jesus through us. So that's exciting. Also, it says here in verse 13, every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shining shadows. That is encouraging because we know Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's not going to change. He's not going to change his mind and decide that he's going to put you through a temptation. He's not going to do that to you. His whole purpose is relationship. And as we are refined and molded through him, we then enhances our relationship through him. That's his whole purpose. And it's exciting because he called us his first fruits. First fruits of his creation. Now, as we know, first fruits mean the first of the harvest. Back in the day when the farmers would, would give their um, fruits to, for an offering, they would be their first fruits of their crop each and every time. That's where we get the concept of tithing 10%. The first money that we make goes to God. I would still like to encourage each and every person to take some time this week, read these verses by yourself, um, get along with God, let him reveal who, what he wants to reveal to you in, the, in through these verses. I will continue to be praying for each and every one of you. Remember that uh, your giving counts, and it matters. Text any amount to 84321. Any amount... Listen, it's very imperative. Keep us communicating with you during this time. Text any amount to 84321. You guys have a blessed week. Father, we just lift up each and every person here tonight, Lord. We ask you to protect them and continue to provide for them, Lord. Give them the peace that only you can, Lord Jesus. Lord, we ask you to continue to be the light upon their path. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you guys. Have a great week.